Welcome back to Living 808. This is the segment called Seasonal Solutions, thanks to our friends at Kraft and Heinz. And they said they wanted a chef, so I figured I'd bring in my friend, who I know very well, Mr. Chef Sam Choi. Hi, Are John. You, Fine. We're talking, we're talking about some food here that, that are great for seasons, and the first season that we're talking about is the one that's coming up next, and it's obviously St. Okay, Patty's Day. Okay, good. You don't got green. <laughs> I just Wait a green. minute. Oh, yeah, you're it's right. Well, Let's go. Okay, well, you kind of have not, you don't have green either. It's green. Well, we have green here. You already made some food That's for right. us. We've got beautiful fresh guacamole. Green, green guacamole. Green, green guacamole, onions, tomatoes, lime juice, garlic, salt, and pepper, and, of course, my favorite, Philadelphia cream cheese. Yeah, the soft spread. But, and the episode of our show, Sam Choi's in the Kitchen, we use that on my jam. That's, that's right. <laughs> I remember that. But this makes it so much easier. Tastes good. Fresh, quick. Okay, so I'm used to eating your food. Tell me how you put all that stuff together. Well, you mix all the ripe avocados okay. with your tomatoes, your onions, your lime juice, little garlic and, you know, peppers to kind of wake it up. Then you take the Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay. And just whip it all in. Whip it all in. And then, then it looks like that. Looks just like this. In this... a matter of minutes. Okay. Go ahead. And in a matter of minutes, it's going to be gone. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and that looks so good. It tastes really good, too. Of course. I'm not a huge fan of avocados until they look like that. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of things, but this is, this is where I'm a fan at right here. Well, that's what goes so on. Of course, of course. But this kind of puts it all together. Okay, so. You can have that, but if you don't got this, it ain't going to happen. So you have the poo-poos and the appetizers with the green, green guacamole. But then you can't forget the dessert. Oh, man, come on. And one, I'm a huge fan of just Cool Whip, but made like this, jello chocolate pudding, Cool Whip, milk, peppermint extract, and, of course, green food coloring. Yeah, to get that mint flavor and then, of course, you know, that parfait look, the layers. You always tell me layering is the big deal. Well, layering is good because it also shows that you got texture going. Mm -hmm. But the real nice part about it is the Cool Whip. The Cool Whip. Come on, we, 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 we eat that as if that was, like, just dessert. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Here, let me do this to you. Finger, I always sorry. wanted to do that, John. <laughs> So, how long does it take to make something like this first? The making part is about as quick as layering it one, two, three, four layers. That's it, done. Okay. Because you get the green food coloring, you put that into the Cool Whip, and then uh, the pudding, and you just do your nice layer, and then you dip right into it. Look at this. I know. I'm good. Well, I don't want to look anymore. I just want to try it. Try, 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 try it with this, John. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, hold on. The hold Cool on. Whip is the key. Oh, the peppermint is really good in there, too. Yeah. How can you go wrong with chocolate pudding, Cool Whip, and the peppermint? Well, you know, that's the nice thing about getting these products. Mm -hmm. It takes the thinking out, and it brings the quality to the table in a matter of minutes. All right, so if you're wondering how Uncle Sam made these two delicious dishes for St. Patty's, don't forget to go to our website, k2and2.com. We have all the great crafting Heinz recipes for you there. We'll be right back with more on 